Good afternoon guys. It's out in my shed today working on another project and that is making a handle for a tool I made last week called a pike. This is used uh, for logging, it could be used for firefighting. And I originally started out with a piece of wood like this. Uh, this is hardwood and during the summer I used my skill saw jig to cut it down into a smaller piece. And that's what I got set up right here. I got a six foot long piece of hardwood on this jig. I'm calling it a planing jig. And uh, what I want to do is round off all the edges, make it round. I have a collar here. This collar will be slid over the end of the wood, a hole drilled into it and then this uh, pike inside that. So I just wanted to turn on the camera and show you how I do it. Just trying something a little bit different today. So on this jig I made, I got a couple of pins coming through to secure my piece. I'm just going to work on one side at a time and then rotate it, put these pins in for a break. And I marked out on the end uh, with I scratched it in the same radius as this collar. I don't want to go too deep and have a loose fitting collar so I got it marked scratched in on the end so I know not to go too deep. I'm going to switch back between my draw knife and my planer. I got my planer set a little bit deeper to take off bigger pieces. I like using the draw knife but sometimes uh, you can get a little too deep. So you can always flip it over to uh, take off smaller pieces. Anyways, I'm just going to work my way around, try to get this as round as I can, and then uh, try something else. Alright guys, I uh, tried this pole lathe for the first time and it spins fine, it's just that this piece of wood is kind of warped. I actually uh, set up a brace and used my chisel like this, just not working very well and then I thought I could use my horse rasp to hold it like this to round it off but that's not working very well either. So I'm just going to keep going at it with the planer. I find the planer works better than the draw knife. I'm just going to keep going trying to make it round as possible then put on my collar. But I think I will try this pole lathe for another project just with a much shorter piece of wood. I think it's just way too long to try to do this.
very important part of making handles is making sure the grain's going the right way. Uh, depending on the type of tool and what it's going to be used for, you always want the grain going up and down if uh, there's going to be stress going this way. But this is right in the center of the wood. You can actually, the grain kind of goes like this. So I was just playing around with this tool for a bit and realized that the handle is still a little bit too thick. So I've been spending a little bit of time with my planer and I also have the smaller planer here. Just been taking off some more wood. So I, I want it thick, but I just don't want it too thick where it's, it's too awkward to use. So I'm just going to keep planing on this, sand it again, and then put some linseed oil on it. Alright guys, that wraps up another project. I'm quite happy the way it turned out. I still might shave down this handle a little bit more. Uh, did some cold riveting on this collar. This way the collar and the tool are on there very securely. This hay wire I'll probably replace with copper wire as soon as I can find some. Um, all these tools that I make you know, it's not until you use them for a while until you start finding all the flaws with them. They're by no means perfect, but uh, each project I learn something a little new. And usually every project I'm building something different. I'm not building the same thing. You know, the next time I was to build one of these, if I was, I'd do things a lot differently. But it's all part of the experience, and thanks for watching.